What was your inspiration for this beat, Stephen? Oh, um, you know, just, just the struggles I was going through, you know. Just the only one to find a song that, you know, just, just uplifts someone when they're, when they're feeling down, you know what I'm saying? You know Steven by hearing him. He has this uh, contagious laugh that you begin to laugh like 15 seconds later after hearing it. He sees a positive to everything, and he's always been like that ever since he was a kid. He's an awesome person. He is so loving and so kind, very wise in his words, and loves to give back to his people. He's always willing to give to people. He is very positive. It's like having like a second father. He's a pretty good brother. My name is Andrew, I'm Steven's brother. I am Steven's big sister. I am Wanyarike's cousin. I'm Steven's mom. My prayer is that he will get healed by the power of God and uh, by your help. Well, I'll be there for my brother. Well, I'll be there to find someone to hold me someday. Be there for my mother, my sisters and friends. I love you. Some things you hear in places and uh, in gatherings and you hear somebody is sick and you hear somebody's family is going through a certain thing and you never think it's your family. You never think that it's gonna be you at any point until it hits home. It's been a long journey. It all started with uh, my husband, uh, that is 2014. And uh, he was deorganized with uh, cancer. Before the year end, uh, Stephen was deorganized uh, with the brainstem tumor. Hi, my name is Stephen Jogu, and since 2014, I was diagnosed with a brainstem glioma. So when he fell ill, I was sad. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. The first time uh, we visited some doctors, uh, the first message they gave us was they didn't have a treatment for him. We put him in a nutrition program. And, I, and actually, I got a lot from him. I got to know about you know nutrition, how to take care of your body. And I believe it has impact uh, on him because they had given him nine months, six to nine months before. And now we were in the second year. Uh, I was very confused. His dad passed away. And that was a blow. It was a huge blow. And after when my dad died, I was like, oh, what's going to happen now? I, at least I could thank God for Stephen, even if I, you know, his dad lost the battle. By faith and, you know, listening to my uh, family, I kind of persevered even though things uh, were getting worse or uh, getting worse. And uh, finally my mom came across uh, this doctor called uh, Dr. Bovinsky. There is hope, there is Dr. Bozinski. This treatment is going to be pricey. Uh, I wish we could afford it, uh, but we can't. He has treated uh, multiple patients like me, so that really uplifted my spirit. Because this treatment is more, it's more genetic, and it's more specific, so it, it targets abnormal cells. Came to the new year, that was 2016, when Stephen started to decline. We weren't able to, to pay for the next treatment that was supposed to be done. So we had to stop because of the funding, and then we had to take radiation because that's the only thing we could do. I have developed two more tumors in my spine. One in the upper 
and one in the lower. And now at this time, uh, Stephen has three tumors. It's a lot emotionally to handle, but there is hope. There is Dr. Bozinski. He's, um, he's fighting and he's been fighting and he just needs help now so he can see this battle through, so he can win this war. I decided to start a GoFundMe account to help raise money. So I'm a person who believes in God, but I believe in you. Um, you can help Stephen. I really hope that you can donate. In your donation, you'll be very helpful. I am kindly asking anybody who hears this message, if you can uh, take the time, listen to the message. If you know his story, uh, please be inclined to help out in whatever way that you're able to financially will be great. If we, you, we, you, all of us can come together and help me get this funding and to show others in the same situation I'm in that they can have hope and also to find the knowledge they need to get better. So he can finally walk, so he can finally ride a bike, eat by himself, take a shower by himself. Go back to school again, be the guy who you are. Meet a girl, get married and have some kids and continue being a productive member of this society. So I can help other people. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for donating, helping, praying. For the people who've come to my house that helped my mother out, for the people who've donated, for your prayers, for the ones who've prayed for us. Thank you very much and may God bless you richly.